Hey y'all, I'm Kaylee Shore and you're watching Music Update Central. So I attended your fan party during CMA Fest a couple nights ago. What was that like? I mean, there was tons of people there, they were singing, and you even played some songs that are going to be on your upcoming debut album. Tell us a little bit more about that. So that was my fourth annual CMA fan club party and it's my favorite show I get to play all year. It's just like this big family comes together and I get to play like old songs and I took a poll of what songs um, people wanted to hear and there's this one song called Astronaut that has never been released. I've only played it like a handful of times at Song Stuff for Jets but it's like my hardcore fan group's like favorite song and they hadn't heard me play it live in like two years so I was like I have to play it and um, it they loved it. It was so funny just to see them like singing along to such a random song you know. Um, but then to see them sing along to Two Hands and Fight Like a Girl and the new music and, and hear them react to that because CMA Fest has been my first time playing a lot of those songs. So that's like a really, really fun experience as an artist to just see them come to life. And um, I did a meet and greet and I met everybody and got to give some hugs and got some really sweet gifts. Someone gave me a, um, a Vans lunchbox and I love Vans. I have a line about them in uh, my song Cool Kids and they're just so thoughtful. Um, so that's like my favorite, my favorite day of the year and it was just really magical. So you have a huge impact in CMA Fest. I mean, you're hosting the Radio Disney Country stage. You're all over during CMA Fest. What does it mean to you? I mean, look five years back. And to be here today doing everything that you're doing, how does that make you feel? You know, I'm glad you asked this question because I haven't really kind of taken the moment to think about it yet. Um, but I... Five years ago, I played one show at CMA Fest, and I had such a good time. I was just so happy to be involved. And I was, like, in the green room, and I was like, oh, my God, they have really good snacks. Like, that was, like, where I was at. And um, something I've always really wanted to do from the beginning of my career is have a very multifaceted path. Obviously, singing and songwriting comes first for me no matter what. I give up everything else for it. But I like and look up to artists who have, you know, they act and they do, they host TV shows and they do stuff like that. And so getting to host the Radio Disney Country stage um, and also have it be my first CMA Fest after launching Let the Girls Play on Radio Disney Country, my radio show with Savannah Kyes, has been really cool because I'm looking and I'm like, oh yeah, my career is like a lot of different things. Um, so that's really fun and like, you know, having that perspective because I think if you told me five years ago that this is where I'd be, I'd be so excited about it. I mean, it's just a really rewarding, thing and, and getting to meet the fans and also one of my favorite things about CMA Fest is that it benefits the CMA Foundation which is for music education. I grew up in a really low income neighborhood and I didn't have a lot of access to instruments or um, you know lessons because my, my family just couldn't afford it but my school put a really big emphasis on the arts. And so when I went to high school, we had a guitar class that you could take as your music elective. And so I took that, and we had about 25 guitars you could check out. So I was, you know, getting to try out nylon strings and, and all these things. Um, and it was really, really fun. And I'm so thankful. And not a lot of kids have access to programs like that. So I feel super thankful, but also I want to do everything I can to give back so that, you know, some kid in a town in anywhere USA can have that and might, you know, end up playing CMA Fest one day.